Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. The group of eight major governments met in Sea Island, Georgia this past summer to discuss what was up with the world. Local collective Video Anxiety was there to see what people thought about it. contamination in the soil that you're standing on right now is a pesticide called toxaphene. EPA knows how to clean it up. They have removals of 90%, transformation of 90% of this chemical within four to six weeks. We're here to say, we're here to demonstrate Brunswick, Hercules, EPA, you can clean up your mess. A couple of weeks after I had gotten into Palestine and um, I was trying to come back into Jerusalem from the West Bank and there was a checkpoint that is on the way there that takes a, sometimes they close it and it takes a long time to get through. So uh, they closed it and it was, it was before it got dark so the sun was still out so it's still pretty warm and uh, people come along, they talk to you, try to tell you about what the situation is. It's always, look, look at what the soldiers do to us. And, um, that night, it took us four hours to get through that checkpoint. Um, and it, it was just the fact that standing there next to these people and having somebody tell me that it took them the other day eight hours to get through, that the week before it took them four hours to get through, and they have to make this trip every day if they would like to work.
occupation. We want our government to support peaceful solutions to the Middle East crisis. We want the other nations of the G8 equally to stand up. You're watching Chicago Independent Television. Kids across America are digging deep. President Bush's tax cuts mean big tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires. Paying for them won't be easy, but these kids are ready to do their part. In 2003 alone, George Bush put every child in America $7,400 into debt. To these children, we have one thing to say. Thanks, kids. Easily paid for by Billionaires for Bush. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. Critical mass rides allow us to envision a day when bikes outnumber cars on city streets. Here are some scenes from a recent critical mass event in Chicago. Thank you. 
Hush, little baby, cry no more. Bush is gonna buy you a foreign war. And if that foreign war goes bad, Bush will take the freedoms you once had. And if those freedoms should be lost, Bush will tell you it's worth the cost. And if the cost seems way too high, that is the point of our lullaby. <laughs> Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. I'm here at the Working Bikes Cooperative, and I'm here with Owen Lloyd of the Cooperative. Owen, what do you do here at the Cooperative? Well, what we do is we take uh, discarded and donated bicycles, and uh, we fix them up to either ship overseas to developing countries, and also to sell at reasonable prices in Chicago to promote cycling in Chicago and uh, fund our project. Can anyone in Chicago just come to the Working Bikes Cooperative to buy a bike? Uh, yeah, anyone at basically any time. Our hours are changing for winter because there's less customers, but uh, at any time to buy uh, different kinds of bikes, older vintage bikes, lightweight road bikes, uh, some mountain bikes, at any time for, you know, usually you know, under $100, 50 to 100 um, Where do you uh, recover your bicycles from? We recover our bicycles uh, two ways. One, we get donations from people who have no more use for their bicycle and would otherwise throw it out and would like to see it used. And we also get bicycles that are snatched from the jaws of a recycling center, mm. literally off of Junkero's trucks before they go in to sell them for scrap. We buy them, these discarded bicycles, off of them to then recycle to either ship or sell. To the people in Ghana and Peru and elsewhere who receive the bicycles, what kind of an impact uh, does the, do the bikes have? Uh, the bikes have a pretty big impact in a lot of the places, like Ghana, for example. This is a form of transportation for them, where otherwise they'd have to carry, say, their crops to the market on their heads, which would be a lot slower of a process and uh, more labor-intensive. And in a project such like the Maya Pedal project, we have an impact in just selling the bikes in the countries, I mean, sorry, distributing the bikes in the countries uh, for transportation use, but also bikes that are then turned into labor-saving devices, like for husking corn, grinding flour, pumping water, and uh, you know, other aspects. If Chicagoans or anyone were, were interested in learning about the Working Bikes Cooperative, uh, how might they be able to contact you? Uh, well, they can contact us either on the internet at www.workingbikes.org. Uh, we also have the location of the warehouse at 706 Southwestern Avenue in Chicago. And then we have a storefront just a little bit further south at 1125 Southwestern Avenue. And the phone number is 312-421-5048. And there's also email contact information on the web. Owen, thank you very much. Thank you. You've been watching Chicago Independent Television, a project of the Chicago Independent Media Center Video Collective. The Independent Media Center is a growing worldwide network of media producers, journalists, citizens, and activists working to put the media in the hands of everyday people and away from corporate and commercial interests. To learn more, visit our website at chicago.indymedia.org. There you can find out about upcoming Chicago area events and how to be involved in making your own media, including how to help make this very TV show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.